I went to see my father. How'd that go? Who knows? Did you tell him to stay out of our lives? No, and I never will. What? That's exactly what Todd said, too. He said you'd always forgive him no matter what he does. No. Start, if you give your dad that kind of power... I'm he's... not giving him anything. You want me to tell him to stay out of our lives? Yes. Why? Do you think that that would work? Has it ever worked, Cole? Me telling him that would be like waving a red cape in front of him, okay? My dad's never gonna leave us alone. So he runs our lives. <sighs> Those aren't our only two choices, okay? I told him off. What good does that do? I told him that I love you and that he can't talk to me about you and some girl, okay? He backed down. Really? Sort of. Star, he won't give up. He's gonna make you choose between him and me. You really don't know it. He can't make me choose. I told my dad he wouldn't like the consequences if he tried to force me. What does that mean? The truth? I don't even know. It sounds bad, right? I guess. I just don't want him to put you in that position. You can't change what he's going to do, and he can't change the fact that I love you. Yeah, sorry, and I love you too. Right, but I can't lie, your dad is, is the hardest part of this relationship for me. Okay, and for me too, because I do, I love him, but I know that he's never going to make it easy, and we're just going to have to be the grown-ups here. Because Todd won't. We definitely can't count on it. <sighs> hey, you know, I had rehearsals today, and it made me realize that nothing can be worse than what we've already lived through. And we survived together. You just have to know that my dad can't break us up. You want me to trust your dad? Seriously? No, I want you to trust that whatever he tries won't work. Start. The guy hates me. He'll use whatever he can. He'll, he'll make stuff up if he has to. Right, like the thing with Hannah. I didn't believe that. Uh, this time. Or ever. Okay, but promise me. Promise me that you know that I don't want anyone but you. I know that. Why wouldn't I know that? I don't know. It's just like there, there, there's like something in the air or something. Uh, with... Like, the thing with Langston just made me think, all right? And, and then your, your dad in your ear telling you not to trust me. Okay, that's just the way that he is. You cannot let him get to you. I promise I won't let him get to me, okay? We can handle whatever he throws at us, okay? Okay? Yeah, okay. Believe in us, Cole. Marco. Dawn? Yeah? To when? About an hour. Really? <laughs> Langston? Mm. She's supposed to be working on the musical with Mr. G until late. What about Hope? <laughs> Asleep? Yeah? Down for the count. <laughs> oh my gosh, so we're actually alone? Wow. <laughs> quick. We don't know the next time this is gonna happen. <laughs> Stop, man. I love you, Cole Sarner. <laughs> what are you thinking? English lit final. <laughs> Sociology paper. <laughs> we are so boring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, where'd you throw my shirt? Oh, it's over there. <sighs> what are you doing? Okay. I have to ask you something. I have to be really honest, okay? You have to be really honest with me. This doesn't sound good. I know that we live together and that we're boring parents, but will you take me to my senior prom? I would love to. <laughs> you would? <laughs> hey, 
I promise, no cheesy limos or anything, okay? We're just going to have a nice, normal night. Well, our first one that happened because you're dad wouldn't let it. Okay, which is not going to happen again. Mm -hmm. And the last one we thought our baby was dead. It would be a very big accomplishment if we had a normal night. Mm. It's going to be the best. We'll make it happen. It's going to be one of your top five of your life. to give him the Langston. You bought Langston's prom tickets. She thought that Marco wouldn't want to go. Wrong. I know, right? So wrong. <laughs> Marco uh, is actually surprising Langston. Um, excuse me? You're gonna tell me. Code of silence. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Never. He's actually at the Palace Hotel right now, booking the same hotel room that they had last year after prom. Okay. I think Marco doesn't want to go to prom. I don't know, maybe because he's a college guy. I wasn't sure if you'd want to go. Yeah, you knew I would. Yeah, I did. So what, uh, you think it's, um, that other thing? No, that other thing is over. Langston's done with Ford. Are you sure? Yes. She's with Marco. Who's with me? Thank you. You know, for prom, I, I picked up your tickets for you. Oh, great. Well, I booked the room at the palace. She's gonna love it. Okay, so check it. I get to the palace, and I hear Alfonso del Toro ordering room service. The film director? Yeah. So I pay the bellboy to let me bring up the food, and, you know, I'm in the hallway, I'm, I'm practicing my speech, and guess who opens the door? I, I don't know. Ford. Oh, that sucks. Not right? I guess still Toro's driving down tomorrow. So Ford's shacked up in the room. The guy's up there ordering lobster on the school's dime. That's charming. And he's using the room to hook up with someone. Oh, my God. Is Langston home yet? I uh, don't know. Well, do you know where she is? I think she said she was at, uh, she was working on the musical. Okay, I'll call her. What? You think it's Langston, don't you? Langston said it's over. No, stop. That's, that's not an answer. Look, you think that this thing with four is still going on with Langston, don't you? No, it's okay. I'm home. I'm walking through the door. Why can't all the days are even gone?